What's up, gang? Welcome back to another video. It's your girl, Shanika, the lab girl. And I'm here with a video slash tutorial on how to renew your ASCP or your state license. And of course, do not forget to check out my first video that I did on using CE Broker to renew my Florida license. But honestly, you guys, this is even better because it will update to CE Broker. If you are a histo technologist um, in the state of Florida, then you guys know we use CE Broker to update our Florida license. Everything is automatically updated to the board. Um, and it's such an easy site. But whenever you are needing to do your credentials for ASCP, American Society of Clinical Pathology, which is probably new to you guys if you are a new histotech and you haven't taken any CEUs or you're not really understanding what I'm speaking about, I think now is probably the time to go ahead and get into more videos about you know renewing your CEUs, not waiting to the last minute, and what's a good website or avenue to use whenever it's time to renew your license so you can be able to work. So that's really, really important. Um, yeah, it's that time again to where it is August the 31st, three years have passed, and now it's time to renew my ASCP. So I'm going to be just talking in general about the website that I've been using to renew my CEUs, where the hell have I been, why I have not been using labce.com, one of the most easiest website to navigate through, and all of the material is so relevant to what we do every day in the Histology Lab. So if this sounds like a video that you're interested in and you honestly have not gotten to the point to where it's time to renew your CEUs or you're at that point now to where August 31st is your deadline, today is August 31st when I'm recording this video and you're like me, you wait till last minute. I hope at the end of this video that you will feel comfortable using labce.com. And yeah, let's go ahead and get into the number one reason why I love using labce. This is year six. Year six of me being a histo technician. I have my HT in Florida. I'm licensed as HTL. I have a state license in Nevada and in Florida and I currently work in California. So if that's a little background, this is your first time watching my channel, or if this is your first time about to renew your CEUs for your ASCP, American Society of Clinical Pathology. That is the board exam that I speak about all the time with that Frida Carson book, the Frida Carson study book. But whenever you get your ASCP license and you're board certified and you're ready to go, you're ready to jump into the work field, it doesn't stop there. Just like any other professional, whether you're a lawyer, a doctor, a nurse, anything that holds a state or board certification license, you normally have to renew your license by taking these credits, even CNAs. So anything that has to do with a license you to work, you have to be taking these continuing education classes. And that's what I have been working on. Now for ASCP, um, they require 36 credits and they're in separate fields so maybe two of the credits should be in histology one credit in lab safety and then the other credits are in general um, interest related fields but <laughs> for some reason whenever it's this time of the year for me to renew my CEUs one I wait to the last minute and two I'm scrambling because it's like I don't want to read all this crazy material I want to just get straight to the test and pass it and submit my declaration for my ASCP license. All right, so this first half of the video will be just about why I love using CE, uh, Lab CE. Um, I did a video on CE Broker, which I said before you guys check that out, but we're going to be talking about labce.com today. And I honestly feel like it will be the best tool for new students to start to to use even that I'm done even when I'm done with my renewing my credits I'm honestly just going to be going on here just re, just reviewing and refreshing things that are I'm like damn like <laughs> it's some things I haven't learned since school and lab CE has all those courses and it's actually interesting like it's like being in school again and I can't believe I'm saying it's interesting but it's actually it's actually interesting so the first thing is, um, what I like about LabCE is 
the price. Let's talk about the price. The price for the amount of material that you're gonna receive is $65 and it included a lot of my general histology courses. And $65 for I think maybe 24 credits. So yeah, that was like amazing. But the thing is some credits are one, some courses are one credit and some courses are two credits. So it's very, very detailed. And like I said before, like I'll go more into detail with labce.com, but this is just gonna be the overall basics. And then we can dive deep into more of like how to use labce, um, why it's so beneficial for you guys, as well as myself, and why I definitely do recommend labce. Um, so the price, $65, which is great. Um, you get a lot of course material for $65. Um, and you can literally take your time and the courses are interesting. It's not, no offense to ASCP, but some offense to ASCP. If you guys have ever renewed your license on the ASCP website where you actually have to submit it to ASCP, they have courses on there as well that you can find for, you know, for your CEUs. But you guys, they are so, what's the word? The courses are not relatable at all. It'll have like a case study on, let's just say, I'll just, for instance, it'll have a case study on um, malaria. And which is interesting if you want to just like read some extra, you know, stuff. But I want to get straight to the point and I want to be able to take my test and receive my yay, I passed, or no, take your test again. I want to get straight to the point without having to read pages and pages and pages of information. And unfortunately, ASCP website, your courses, they are not relatable for me and probably a lot of students, new age students or new histotechs who really don't want to be snoozing at, you know, at the course. But maybe for someone like a doctor or maybe someone maybe with a PhD or maybe someone um, who actually loves reading case studies and you know want to dive deep and not really concerned about one the timing and trying to get everything done I really feel like it is for them but not just for the everyday regular working individual who are trying to get their CUs and get everything done and still be able to um, meet their qualifications so that's definitely um, a suggestion for ASCP probably get more relatable information for histotechs but do not worry because we're not talking about ASCP website we're talking about labce.com so the first thing is the price is amazing um it's not expensive at all and you will have a plethora of different topics that you can actually take and that are actually interesting the second thing i love about labce.com is the navigation the navigation is super super easy 